these aircraft that you see here didn't just happen. They were engineered to do the things that they do. It was chilly and rainy, a perfect day to be inside, but the weather didn't bother these fifth graders a bit as the stories of these planes flowed from people who know these aircraft well. It's designed like the bottom of a boat. So that, that way, you know, reduces the drag as it's either taking off or landing in the water. The Aerospace Museum of California is a few miles northeast of Sacramento, and the ex-pilots and aviation buffs who lead these tours embrace the museum's mission of connecting the history of these planes to modern-day realities. We want to bring STEM alive, science, technology, engineering, and math. Just about everybody's got some type of a smartphone in their pocket, and that didn't happen by magic. Um, you know, as we move forward, STEM education is going to be very important for any type of a high-end career. Watch your step as you come in. Having that type of education will offer better opportunities, higher wages, you know, a better lifestyle for the people who gain those types of STEM career education. The museum has more than 40 aircraft and 3,000 artifacts on display. More than 250 docents volunteer their time explaining the planes, engines, and solar system. There are planes here from World War II through the Gulf Wars. These kids are from Placer Academy, a charter school in Rockland, and this field trip hit the mark. And I like that they explain so much. Like, it's not like, well, we use this here, so, okay but they explain how and why and how it was engineered specifically to be used that way. It's crazy how that people have flown in them and actually been in World War II in them. I just like learning about the history behind the airplanes. 10 and 11 year olds from Placer Academy have become regulars at the Aerospace Museum. This is our third year actually bringing the fifth graders to this museum. Um, every year they really enjoy going out looking at the airplanes and learning about aerodynamics as part of our STEM curriculum. Jessica Alva is a math and science teacher who helps arrange the annual visits. She's thrilled the Aerospace Museum stresses that relationship between flight and those subjects that make up STEM. They're really gearing their exhibits towards school-aged children. I love coming here and getting the hands-on experience. So now that we have that technology, we're able to implement those things in the classroom. We can do things like 3D printing, robotics, all that stuff now in schools, which is awesome. The Aerospace Museum is boosting its outreach to school districts to get more kids through the doors. Yes. Attendance this year is up about 20%. They say it's their mission of honoring the past while inspiring the future. Parents along for the field trip also appreciate the museum's purpose. It's an amazing experience for kids to get out of the classroom a little bit and get to put their hands on these things that they're learning about, um, see how all the science and math and engineering really ties into real life. It's not like, well, you can just study this and now you know about it, but then if you know that you can actually use those skills for something in real life, then you might be more interested in learning about them. While the kids toured, parents and teachers were allowed a few minutes on flight simulators in the museum's flight zone. It's no wonder the popularity of this place is on the rise. I used to be a high school teacher and I, had, I used to bring my students here and they would come out of this museum just absolutely inspired. They wanted to go learn how to fly or learn how to be a air traffic controller, or dispatcher, people wanted to be astronauts, you know, and so there's everything is available. Uh, when you get inspired to do it. That inspiration is available six days a week at the Aerospace Museum of California, where parents, teachers, and kids couldn't be more welcome.